whether it's to drive away the cold when the wind is chilly or to enjoy its delicious warm broth that tastes both like heaven and home, ramen has proven to be one of the best comfort foods ever. It doesn't matter the time of the day or the weather, there's always some time to slurp on some ramen. Hey everybody, it's Janelle from Janelle Eats and today I'm with Google Arts and Culture to dig into some of the different types of ramen and the history behind this delicious soup. Although this staple dish is known to be from Japan, its roots are actually Chinese. Ramen was first introduced in Japan in the late 19th century when the country opened its borders. As a result, newcomers would bring in dishes from their home countries, one of them being the Chinese noodle dishes that rapidly started to spread throughout Japan. As more Chinese students moved to the land of the rising sun, more Chinese restaurants began to open. In 1910, Tokyo opened the first ramen shop as a result of the fusion of these two cultures cuisines, and from here, the rest is history. Born from the cold winters of Hokkaido, the Sapporo ramen will warm you up from the inside out. Made with a thick broth with vegetable and garlic extract, its thick and curly noodles are accompanied by fried bean sprouts to create an exceptional soup. Seven hours south of Hokkaido in Hakodate, their local ramen uses a simple salty broth, similar to China's version. It features roasted pork filet, menma, and shredded spring onions, as well as a clear soup and moderately thin, straight noodles. An all-time favorite, miso ramen was invented by the ramen shop Ryu Shanghai in Akayu, Yamagata. It's prepared with a ball of deep red miso with chili peppers in the middle of the bowl that customers mix into the broth bit by bit to suit their tastes. It also features wide, wavy, flat noodles. Flavored with a soy sauce soup, the evolution of Yokohama ramen has followed a unique path. This broth combination of pork bone and soy sauce with thick noodles has come to be a style referred to as kake in recent years, a name popularly used Hello. instead of calling it Yokohama ramen. Although Kyoto cuisine is known for its light flavors, its ramen breaks all the stereotypes. The soup uses a pork or chicken base, and although it can largely be divided into three variations, all of them have a noticeably rich flavor. The Tokushima region has three different kinds of soup. Its most popular ramen has salty sweet ingredients made by cooking boneless ribs and features a raw egg topping. The noodles that are used are short and soft and only slightly curled. If there's something the people of Hakata are proud of, it's their ramen. Made by boiling pork bones for a long time, it uses straight noodles with little water added. After slurping the last bit of noodles, it's customary to kaidama, which is the second serving of noodles that can be added to the remaining broth. Aside from its tasty flavors, what makes ramen so special is its origins. A dish that tells the story of how a country opened up to establish itself in the world while welcoming new perspectives that would lead them to become one of the leading global forces. The fusion of its cultures serves as a daily reminder to always welcome new people into our lives, the same way it embraces us with its warm broth after a long day. If you want to learn more about the history of ramen, make sure to pass by Google Arts and Culture Mishi Agare, Flavors of Japan Hub. See you next time! Thank you.